Well, good morning. It's a gorgeous morning this morning. Today we've got a big day on the farm. Uh, it's a culmination of 90 days of work. The uh, gypsy chicks over there, we're gonna drag them all the way over to the shop over here. And today is butchering day. So yeah, it's gonna be a big day. I'll probably do that about four o'clock this afternoon, but we've got a bunch of stuff to get ready first. Oh, good girl. There you go. Yum, yum. Is that good? So there's a certain amount of excitement that comes with butchering our own chickens. I mean, there's a lot of work that's gone into this. Um, but it's not something that we take lightly either, right? There's a certain amount of responsibility that comes with taking something's life. And so we've done our very best over the last 90 days to provide for the most happy and healthy environment that these chickens could possibly have. So that's that pastured poultry, moving every day onto fresh grass, always having plenty of feed, good water, lots of shade, plenty of warmth. And I think, I think overall we've done a pretty good job of that. So yeah, so it's a good thing. It's something that we're very uh, humble and, and thankful that we've had the opportunity to do. I think, well, we'll see after butchering here, I might change my mind, but I think it's something I would like to do again. So, so I'm just out here in Webster. Uh, it's just out uh, north of Sexsmith, actually. And we are buying this hay feeder. Beautiful pasture in here, kind of like a silvo pasture, nice trees, good grass. Anyways, yeah, very, very jealous of that. But yeah, so we're getting this feeder. I'm not sure how we're gonna load it yet. Buddy's just gone to grab his skid steer and then we're gonna try and get it in the truck, so. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting anyways. Well so when you see this thing on the buy and sell, it looks a little bit smaller. But uh, like we couldn't the buddy and I couldn't even lift it, he had to get a skid steer. And I mean it's as heavy as nine sailboats. And it's gonna catch the wind just like that as well. Look at that roof, like it's gonna be a slow go getting back to the farm, I think. So hopefully it doesn't take too too much time, but I don't really wanna lose this thing out on the highway, so I better just take it easy here. Going for a swim? Uh. Is that refreshing? It's getting warm here. I had trouble getting these things to stay lit actually. I don't know what's going on with that. Water's a little hot. I want to be about 70 degrees. So I'm going to turn this one down. It's a good right there. Nate, what are you doing? You want to lose some water? I don't know. Not with your hands though? No, you're going to use your fingers. That's just... Nate's just... I don't know who's playing the chicken. Who's playing the chicken? Good 
job, bud. Okay. Catch your big one. So quarter, close. Baby. Get him, get him! Reach in, reach in. Go, go! Good job. Grab the biggest one. Try to grab the biggest one at least. There you go. Good job, Lane. Everything that's in there has got to come out. What do you got there, Wyatt? This. Okay, now put your finger in there. Go deep. Put your hand right in there and just start digging. Remember, like, swoop your hand around. Oh, there's one more. Can you see the chicken go around? Can I see the chicken? Don't rip it out yet, because then we want to get this end out first. He's just getting to his insides now. How's it going for you? Are you getting anything out? No. Just start pulling. No, no, no. Yeah. Do you want Antonia to get in there and pull some of it out? Loosen it up? I can Oh, you got lots of it, actually. Okay, now put your finger in there or a piece of Put your finger in there and just... Pull it apart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need a little bit more of your knife. Poke your knife through that. Okay, now pull. Where's the heart in the other one? There you go. Up at the top. Did we already pull, did we pull the heart in the other one out? Yep. Yeah. You were. Um, okay, cut. <laughs> yep. What is this? Liver. Yeah. Get all the insides out. Mm -hmm. Look in there. See if you got everything. This, is this stuff for the in there? We'll get that out after. Can you fry it? Yeah. Show me what you got. Show your mom. Get all that out. Oh, cool. Do you know what everything is? Gross. No. Oh, boy. See the liver? Let's take the liver off. Kay. Nate's going to eat that liver later. And Lane will too. What about Macy? Does she eat it? She'll eat it before. Yeah. That's the intestine. Is it hard? Hard, yeah. Lift it up. Show me what you got out of there. And Carmen. Let me see. Uncle Stan needs your mice. Ice cake. What do you got? Oh. What is that? Chicken guts. Cheese. Is that yummy? Mmm. Well, today's just about coming to a close here. 
It's been a it's been a heck of a day. Actually, probably one of the hardest working days we've had in months for sure. Like we've had like don't get me wrong, we've had like 14, 16 hour days, and we had long days. But this was just one of those like, you know, it's 22 degrees when you get up at 6:30 in the morning, and it's just boiling hot and a raging sun all day. And then at four o'clock in the afternoon, you just go into overdrive and process 30 chickens. So 30 chickens, like, it doesn't seem like much, but I mean, for us, it's like, this was a total experiment for us. So like learning on the fly, trying to make, you know, just it just seemed like it was almost overwhelming um, in the early afternoon, just trying to have everything ready for this. So I'm very glad it's done. Um, I learned a lot of stuff today, actually. I think there's a few things we would do differently. If we're do, well, we know we're going to do this again, but for one thing, I think probably try and do a butcher first thing in the morning. Um, I think we'd probably try and go with like 50 birds, not 30, which, you know, I, I, it's just a matter of while you're here doing it, you might as well do, do more. The other thing I learned, like, it just, many hands make light work. There's, there's absolutely no way we would have been able to do this without the help of uh, like all the family that came to help us today. Um, it just, and everybody was busy, right down to the, the smallest little kid was just like, you know, in there. Um, it, was, it was a really good day and it was like homeschool 101, like you're not gonna get a better education in any, any school system than, I mean, just come out for a, for a day on the farm. Um, it was fantastic to see all the interest uh, from the kids for sure. As you can see kind of behind me here, we've got a massive storm coming in. It's going to make for an interesting night. We've got quite a bit of lightning coming through. Things are getting really dark and it's still pretty early actually. I think it's only like, I don't know, 8.30. It's not, even, it's not very late, but it's getting pretty dark. So I've got a bunch of work to do just to get everything put away. You know, we've got our barrels, the burners, the chicken plucker, all the stuff i got to get put away. So better get on that. I will say the Hero of the Day Award goes to the Chicken Plucker. If you don't have one of these, man oh man, your life's gonna be tough. I'd say if you're gonna do any more than like maybe five birds, you're gonna want one of these. And this is just an old model, I don't know, it could be 40 years old, still works. Like we can pluck a chicken in 30 seconds. If you try and string that thing up on the fence and hand pull it, it's gonna take you five, maybe 10 minutes to pluck that chicken. Five if you're really good, 10 if you're more like us. So if you're like us, like we, I and mean, this was like 30 birds for us, it was the first time for us. We don't, we don't own this machine, right? This belongs to the in-laws. So to put that in context, get yourself a machine uh, from somebody you know that maybe already has one that processes a lot of birds. These things, this style of plucker, they're around $500. The uh, horizontal style, the rotary drum, there and like six to eight hundred dollars depending on which model you get which size and how much power it's got so it is a pricey thing it's a big investment you got to process a lot of birds to make it worth your while but if you know somebody that does process a lot of birds invite them over they'll probably teach you all kinds of stuff that'll you know take a lot of pain out of your first time processing birds so really recommend okay. i gotta hurry because it's really starting to rain now and we're getting like thunder and lightning every like five to 10 seconds. So it's gonna be right up on top of us here anyway. Okay, well, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to outrun this thing, but I think I got everything wrapped up as much as I can for the night. So I'm gonna go inside, fix up a cup of tea, watch some lightning storms. Hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll see you tomorrow.